watching Texas Gun Blog and we're looking at the Colt government model Delta Elite. The Delta Elite was produced from the middle late 80s for about nine years, uh, coinciding with the popularity rise and fall originally of the 10 millimeter round. Uh, this particular example we're using in the video today is what's commonly referred to as a new model Delta Elite. The new models were introduced at the 2008 SHOT Show. Uh, it's basically a uh, the same gun as the as the old model, uh, just produced uh, in a different serial number range, and newer, obviously, than the old model. So, uh, if you're looking for one of these out there on the market, that's definitely one thing to look at. If you're looking to add it to a collection of older Colts, uh, you would probably want to stay away from the newer model. But if you're looking for a shooter or a carry piece. Or if you collect new Colts, uh, the newer model would probably be something uh, you would you would look for. So these are great guns. They're just like any other Series 80 style uh, Colt 1911, but it does uh, have the nice uh, Delta Elite with the triangle there on the slide and the special Delta Elite grips that make this gun uh, very identifiable. Anytime we share pictures of it, uh, people love it. You know, they love they love to look at the gun and talk about the gun. Interesting thing with the 10 millimeter round is it was kind of a catalyst for uh, the 40 Smith and Wesson. Well, really not a catalyst. It's basically the dad cartridge or the uh, parent cartridge to the 40 Smith and Wesson. You see, in the uh, in the mid 80s, I believe it was 86, FBI got into a shootout. After the shootout, they decided they wanted to move from the revolvers to a uh, semi-automatic. So they we're going to do some testing with uh, 9mm versus 45, and the gentleman that worked for the FBI at the time had a 10mm uh, Delta Elite old model in his personal collection. So he decided to include the Delta Elite in the FBI testing. So the FBI ended up testing a 9mm, 10mm, and 45, and they were impressed with the ballistics of the 10mm. So they decided to roll with it. One thing they found uh, quickly is that the recoil was on the verge of being unmanageable for some agents. So they got with Smith & Wesson to create a uh, lower recoil round, and Smith said, well, rather than do that uh, and have more airspace and less powder in the cartridge of a 10 millimeter, let's just shorten the case. And that's how the 40 Smith & Wesson was born. So interesting story it's a very iconic gun people always recognize this particular 1911 great addition to any collection so if you've got any questions for us about this particular firearm or any of the firearms in our videos you can find us at texasgunblog.com as always thanks for watching our videos and please subscribe